Hey guys, Skip here. Mike's Timber, what's left of it, and uh, I did a battery test with the uh, with my tester, and the battery's still okay. It looks a little crunched, but uh, it seems to be holding a charge, and even across all cells. Uh, I think I'm going to be able to save the cowl, and obviously not the prop, and the spinner is uh, is junk. So we're going to have to get a spinner and a prop, I think. But the rest of it, I think I will be able to actually put back together and make this thing fly just fine. It's not as bad as it looks, really. I've seen a lot worse. So uh, we're going to have at it here, and uh, hope you enjoy. <laughs> it's a shame. I can't believe this thing. Incidentally, what I wanted to, uh, the reason I'm making this video is these ESCs, the timbers, when they come, the uh, seaplanes, come with a sealed ESC. They put silicone in the ends. Uh, both ends here and it doesn't uh, allow for cooling any 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 airflow through that ESC th from the front They're relying totally on the heat sink that they've got on the top of the thing or built on the onto the thing and uh, They've got that wrapped in plastic So I mean it's not going to cool that efficiently and it's been mentioned to, to me a couple of times uh, uh, other people have had the same issue with the uh, low voltage not low voltage. I'm sorry, but the uh, high temperature cutoff on these things doing the same thing now mine got hot enough where it actually started smoldering and caught on fire, or almost caught on fire. Uh, this one just got hot enough, obviously, that it, it killed power to everything, and that includes your receiver, so you have no controls on the thing. Um, what I'm going to do is take, because this one did come back, it's, it fires up again. I'm going to take the silicone out of here, and I'm going to make sure it's got adequate ventilation when I'm done with the repair. And chances are he's not going to have another problem with this again, unless he's flying it real hard. Uh, what also has been mentioned, I didn't do the test yet myself. I'm going to do that with my own timber because I'm doing a couple of mods to it. I'm going to be putting a 12.6 prop on it as compared to the 12.4 and see how that flies. But uh, I'm concerned about the amperage. Mine, when I had it replaced, uh, was sent to me without the silicone in the ends. So it's telling me that you know Horizon Hobby uh, or E-Flight, they, they're obviously aware that there's a problem with that. And they've had a number of these timbers do the same thing. So... Um, we're going to open up the ends of this. By the way, uh, what I was going to mention was that the draw, amp draw, on uh, full throttle of the timber is almost 40 amps. It's, it's almost the same rating as the ESC. ESC should be about at least 10% higher, or you know, at least it should be at least a minimum of a 45 amp ESC if you want to uh, be pushing this plane full bore. Because uh, the BL, I believe it's a BL10 or BL15 in here, let's see. This motor actually will take up to a 4S battery, no problem, without overheating. And what I'm going to do with my timber is I'm going to put a, uh, well, I've got a 60 amp ESC just uh, laying around doing nothing. I might as well put, use that, but I was going to replace my ESC with a higher amp and run it 4S with the 12.6 prop. And it should get a, a heck of a lot more performance, but I'd even be able to do, you know, vertical with the thing. So, uh... Hold tight, I'm going to put Mike's back together the way it is. If he wants to do the upgrade on it, uh, you know, that's an opportunity for him. But I'm going to put this one back together for him and, and see how it goes. All right, so hold tight. You can enjoy the speed repair, and uh, we'll catch you soon. Wish me luck.
Hey guys, Skip here. Uh, just finished up Mike's Timber. I haven't done the painting on it yet. It's not beautiful, but it's not uh, it's not bad. It will fly, I think. It looks pretty good, actually. Everything fit up and, and lined up pretty good. I'm going to probably wait for the foam tack glue to get a little bit stronger, then I'll be able to push up under there and kind of uh, make this look a little bit nicer. But I'll put some paint up here. It'll look just fine. In the air, you'll never even be able to see that it was crashed. But... Uh, all in all, it should be uh, should be a nice plane. Balances out nicely. The uh, tail end, I was able to uh, repair the elevator and the uh, rear stabilizer. They had just separated apart, and all, basically, I didn't even need any glue. I just uh, put them back together. Luckily enough, that wasn't broken, but the inertial force had separated the uh, connecting tabs in the back. Nothing broken. Just put them back together, tighten it down a little bit better, and they're 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 solid. Uh, put the lights and stuff back where they were supposed to be. All the lights and everything still work uh, on the wingtips. And the, uh, the front end is, uh, is just fine. We're going to have to replace the spinner. I did just kind of schmutz that together. It's just over the top anyway. It's not going to go anywhere. And the prop, of course, was broken. I did uh, glue it <laughs> together. I have crazy glued props before and actually flew the plane and not have them come off. I wouldn't do that with the timber. I think it's a little bit too heavy of a blade to do that with, but uh, I can't tell you which side was broke to tell you the truth. It would probably fly until the you know vibration kicked the blade loose. Uh, at least he'd have controls. But for all intents and purposes, guys, uh, Mike's timber is all repaired. Everything should work. I don't have his radio, so I can't fire it up, but uh, it does charge up. It does pop, and when the ESC fires up, the motor turns a little bit, so, so I know it's going to work. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll catch you soon. Hopefully get this thing in the air with Mike and have some more fun with the timbers. Came out a little better than I expected. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'll put some black paint up on the top here and clean it up a little on the sides, and it won't look any worse than it did before. Remember, this plane has been crashed three times, so... Um, Again, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you later. Mike, this one's for you, buddy. Love you, man. Sorry I crashed this thing. wasn't my fault, though. It was the ESC that uh, overheated. Uh, you shouldn't have that problem again now. I've taken the silicone out of the ends. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're concerned about using the water, uh, using the plane still on the water, you want to use this Corrosion X. Get the silicone out of the ESC and put Corrosion X in there. Spray it up really good. It doesn't matter. You can you, you let it drip out both sides so that you know you got it in there. It doesn't hurt a thing. It doesn't mess with your electronics. It puts a nice, uh, thick, thick coating over all the electronics that repels water. Uh, I've actually put ESCs underwater with a running motor treated with this stuff, just like they did on the flight test uh, video, and it does work. It does work. Wouldn't advise it, but it does work. So if you're just getting a, a little mishap or a little spray from the from the water or whatever that you're you're flying on or flying in. In my case, I fly, I fly in the rain sometimes. Uh, then the Corrosion X really comes in handy. And it's good for all the electronics. You just cover everything. Hit your batteries, hit your motor. I treated the motor on this one for Mike, so it, notice it's nice and smooth. It doesn't go anymore. So, should be nice. All right, take care, guys. Mikey, love you, buddy. Sorry I crashed your plane.